This is our reality. Countless children in the Philippines are affected by malnutrition. The number of stunted and wasted children in the country remains significant, which is why urgent actions must be taken to address this. As the mayor, you can act on this problem and help solve the woes of malnutrition in both your community and in our country. To that end, this guide was created to discuss everything that you and your local government unit instrumentalities need to improve your local nutrition system, with a focus on the first 1,000 days of life. I'm a mayor like you, and together, we'll be strengthening the six building blocks of local nutrition systems for the first 1,000 days. We will be able to build your integrated nutrition system by looking into the six pillars of health. These pillars, also known as the six building blocks, were formulated by the World Health Organization. They focus on governance, information, financing, human resources, medicines and technology, and service delivery. This module tackles an introduction on how you can assess your community, what you can do as a mayor, and the benefits of investing in nutrition as a development priority. An infant who was born with low birth weight is expected to grow into a malnourished child, then into a malnourished teenager, if no appropriate health and nutrition intervention is taken. Eventually, the process repeats when a malnourished female becomes a parent, with a high possibility of her bearing a low birth weight baby. This continuous cycle is what is known as the intergenerational cycle of malnutrition. Ang malnutrisyon ay magastos sa ating ekonomiya, kaya't mahalaga na kontrahin ito sa buhay ng bata sa lalong madaling panahon. It has been observed that adequate nutrition during the first 1,000 days plays a key role in a child's development and the community's ability to prosper. These first 1,000 days of life make up a critical period of tremendous potential and enormous vulnerability. Poor nutrition, specifically stunting, during this period impedes the child's brain development and compromises physical growth and immunity. It also increases the risk of non-communicable diseases such as obesity, diabetes, and other chronic diseases. Bilang mayor, responsable ka sa pagtataguyod ng basic human rights ng mga bata sa inyong pamayanan sa pamamagitan ng mabuting health and nutrition. Children should be able to live and develop suitably, both physically and intellectually. The Republic Act 11148, or the first 1,000 days law, prompted LGUs to prioritize interventions and investments for the first 1,000 days of a child's life. This law is one of the Philippine Plan of Action for Nutrition's main thrusts. Now, you may ask, what is the role of the LGU, which you are leading, in achieving the goals of the Philippine Plan of Action for Nutrition. LGUs are specifically expected to implement nutrition-specific and nutrition-sensitive programs, projects, and activities. We should first determine whether malnutrition is prevalent in your city or municipality. With the help of the City or Municipal Nutrition Action Officer, filling up this figure will give you a glimpse of the current nutrition status in your area. After completing the figure, you may check it against the listed nutrition indicators of the country in 2018. This should more or less tell you where your community stands. Given this data, huminga ng malalim. You can reflect on the responsibilities and commitment that you have to your community. Ano ang iyong mga hinahangad para sa iyong bayan? As the mayor, you have the influence to lead, supervise, and control the various programs of your LGU. You have the ability to harness and synergize the expertise of the people and stakeholders around you. 
so that as many people as possible can achieve the health and nutrition goals of the city or municipality. However, the members of your team may encounter internal struggles, and this can result in the fragmentation of health and nutrition services. Working together is the key to addressing this fragmentation. By involving the various instrumentalities of your local government and the stakeholders, providing a platform towards achieving a common goal, you become a bridging leader. You are influential in making sure that you and your team's values and behavior are in line with a commitment to serve and provide service. To be a bridging leader, you and your local government can be guided by the ZFF Health Change Model as shown here. A bridging leader is equipped with three key competencies. First, you have ownership of the issue at hand. You recognize that you have the responsibility and power to combat malnutrition. Second, by engaging with key stakeholders in nutrition in your area, co-ownership is formed. Finally, when all of these come together in formulating solutions, co-creation emerges. As a bridging leader, you will be able to develop new and creative structures as well as processes that will enable you to attain your preferred nutrition reality. The theory you can be used to uncover the current nutrition reality of your city or municipality, along with the underlying causes of your current reality. Sa kasalukuyang sitwasyon ng iyong komunidad, saan mo itutuon ang iyong pansin upang malutas ang malnutrisyon? This is where the six building blocks come in. They provide a guide to assess where your LGU's current health and nutrition systems are functional, semi-functional, or non-functional. Ginabit upang maging gabay ng Christian Gerhard Yebsen Foundation at Zwilig Family Foundation ang six building blocks health systems ng World Health Organization para maging Municipal Nutrition Action Scorecard. Ang tool na ito ay naglalayong magbigay ng isang mekanismo upang subaybayan ang pag-unlad ng Integrated Local Nutrition System Development. You can learn more about the Municipal Nutrition Action Scorecard, its performance indicators, the overall performance score based on your own results, and a suggested timeline for implementation based on ZFF's findings. Using the complementary manual these modules are based on. One question still remains. What does this all mean for you and your community? If we focus our efforts on proper governance, appropriate programs, and the dedication of leaders and their teams, many of these children will be saved from the intergenerational cycle of malnutrition. As a result, in the future, these children can contribute more to society and become progressive citizens. The nutritional state of your constituents is a reflection of your leadership. Are you ready to take on your constituents' nutrition journey? Let's work towards improved nutrition and health systems for the families in your community and for the benefit of the country.